everybody. Vlogmas Day 20. Can you believe it? There's going to be a, a few uh, little hiccups in this because um, guess what? I was having te technical difficulties, so there'll be some days that they'll be missing. But I'll try to sort of catch up and let you know what's going on. And I wanted you to know that I'm being filmed today by my dear, darling granddaughter Savannah, DDGS. And I'm so happy that she's here with us. We're going to be making some uh, pasta. We're going to have for Christmas Eve dinner, we're having homemade raviolis. It's a family recipe. It's been in my family for over 50 years and uh, probably goes back longer than that. But anyway, I already told, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the particulars when we're about to do that. I wanted to uh, show you a couple things to, to back up on the things. One of the things that I got, and it was a find from Amazon, it's a bag smart. And this is really neat because for all you that, you know, like all these electronics, this really keeps us organized. And as you can see, it keeps all your cords here. There's a place for your SD cards and your SIM cards. And then it unzips, it's three parts. And right here is where I keep my, my, my paper white Kindle. And then I'll be putting my uh, charger for my iPhone in there and my uh, other chargers for my phone and anything else. So I think this is really handy to have when you're traveling or even to keep in your house so you know where all your things are. So I thought this was a great find for all you people out there that like to be organized. And it comes in this lovely sort of rose color, which I really, really like. And uh, as you can see, it's not, has a nice sturdy handle. So I'm really happy about that. But I wanted to go over my dining room for, for Christmas Eve dinner. Uh, everyone has a little basket and there's little candies in there. Some of uh, my uh, dear darling husband's favorite Snickers. And then, of course, you know, these lint balls, which are very good. And, of course, there's always a little um, bottle brush Christmas tree. And you can see it's sort of festive. And right here I'm enjoying with my uh, Yeti. You know, a lot of you have bought those uh, expensive cups that keep your coffee and your tea warm. And they're a little pricey. They're about $80. But, you know, the good thing about this, this Yeti does the same thing. Uh, it doesn't, it's not electronic. But because of the way it's built, it really keeps your teas and, uh, and coffees hot, any hot beverage, hot cocoa, and it has a top. And I'll tell you, sometimes it's so hot, I actually burned the top of my lip because I didn't, I didn't think that it, I thought it was cool and I went like this and it burned. Anyway, I'm fine now, but this is a, this is a great, a great find for uh, any of your tea, coffee, or hot chocolate lovers out there. So uh, on to making our pasta. Hi everybody, guess what we're having lunch with? <laughs> Our beautiful Savannah. Yes, she is, there she is. And my DDH, say hello, wave to the crowd <laughs> with his phone and he's having a nice lunch too. Hi everybody, we're making homemade pasta. You're saying, what are you doing with your gloves? Well, I just had my manicure done and I don't want to ruin my nails. So I put these gloves on. We did it in our KitchenAid. I'll show you this. This is the real life, real kitchen. It's a mess. This is how we cook. I'm one of those messy cooks. Anyway, we use the KitchenAid. And now I have my macaroni board. This board is over 55 years old. Uh, I got it when I was married with my ravioli maker and my pasta machine. I gave the original to my daughter and I bought another one. I don't know, it'll be the first time I'm using that one. This is the ravioli maker from the Italian store, Villa Ware. Anyway, uh, I'm kneading the pasta. We used, uh, Savannah, how many cups of flour? Four. Four cups of flour, and we used five eggs. And I used a little bit of egg whites. And as you can see, my mother used to do this all the time. She used to put all her weight into it and knead it with the, the heels of your hands. You want to come in for a close-up, Savannah, and you can see how this is nice and smooth. There it is, nice and smooth. You see how beautiful that is? Nice, the heels of your hand and you press, turn it over, press with your weight, press with your weight, and you knead it. So now what we're gonna do is put some plasticware over it and refrigerate it for an hour. Then we'll use our pasta machine. We set this up and then we'll make 
that and then we'll use the ravioli maker. Here it is, we made the stuffing. And what you do is you put the dough over this, see the little ridges, then you go like this and it makes little pockets in the dough. Then you put the filling, which I'll show you what it's in the refrigerator. It's a ground beef with spinach. And you make sure when you use the spinach, it's one pound of ground, of ground beef to about a, a pound, a, about eight ounces of spinach. You have to make sure when you cook the spinach, you know, it's chopped up fine and you just squeeze it, get all the water out. And then you incorporate after you've browned the, the hamburger meat, you add uh, your uh, garlic, and then you add your salt, your pepper, uh, any other of the seasonings. And then after you do that, you make sure you put Romano per, uh, uh, cheese in it, and then you put it all together with the spinach. You make sure it's incorporated, and I'll show you what that's like right in here. Here it is right here as you'll be able to see it. That's what this the, looks like. The spinach and the ground beef. And then you add an egg to it to, to, to bind it, to put it together. So, put this so it stays nice. There it is, put that back in the fridge. And now we're going to get some plastic wrap and we're going to be doing our dough. I hope this is a brand new one. It hasn't been opened. This is uh, one of those ones. It's a great value from uh, Walmart. And you put this cutter on the edge, like so. Make sure it's in the grooves. There. And I think the hardest part of this is to find where the beginning of the paper is. You see? Take this out. There it is, easy to find. There's the paper. Pull it out. Make sure you have enough. Put this inside and then use this little cutter. Look how nice this is. Comes right off. And then we'll make sure this dough smooth. It's so smooth. Look how smooth that is. Very smooth. We'll wrap this in the plastic wrap. And we'll refrigerate it for about one hour. It's four o'clock now at five o'clock. You should be ready. You should be ready to roll and to show you how we do it. So, see you later. Hi everybody, we just finished making the raviolis in the ravioli form. And look and see, at the inside filling is 96% hamburger, only 4% fat. So it's pretty lean. And uh, we did some and then look at these. We did these beautiful patels, orange and lemon and almond, and let me tell you, mmm, crispy, and mmm, so delicious. Honestly, it's just so beautiful. Look at them all. We got them here, and this isn't all of them. We got another big stack over here. Yeah, and we got our things of raviolis over here. And this is real life kitchen, it's a mess, but we'll have it all cleaned up when done, we'll show you. All right, on to more raviolis.